Have I fallen into the Evangelion figure rabbit hole? Okay, the Evangelion figure market is a void, black hole. It will consume you in your entirety. There are just so many figures in so little time and money. Okay, we have figures from Neon Genesis Evangelion, Rebuild 1.0, Rebuild 2.0, Rebuild 3.0, Rebuild 3.0. Rebuild 3.0 plus 1.0. Okay, they have figures for each of those, and there are so many kinds as well. Of course, we know that they're mainly manufactured by Sega, but we also have the Nendoroids, and we also have the scale figures by Alter and Aniplex and whatever. You know what I'm talking about. It's overwhelming. Let's take Asuka, for example. Just with Asuka alone, you have so many options. You're thinking, okay, do I get the school uniform version? Do I get the summer dress version? The plug suit version, the test plug suit version, the plug suit with eye patch version, the plug suit with cap version, the plug suit with cap and jacket version, etc. 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 So I told myself I wouldn't get into the retro figures. When I say retro, I'm talking about the old school figures that were manufactured from any time between the 1990s to the early 2000s, sometimes the early 2010s. I call them retro just because they're made with older figure technology and so they look and feel different. Yeah. As a collector, it's, it's just fun. Evangelion figures are fun. It's a deep, dark, fun rabbit hole. Like for me, it's particularly fun to try to see which figure of a character I like the most. Like which Shin Shinji do I want? Which Kawari do I want? Which Asuka? Which Rei? Uh, what brand? What model? It's super fun. And when it comes to these retro figures, which are the older ones, which were mostly prize figures that you'd have to win from crane machines in Japan, it's really fun hunting for them because they're, they're kind of hard to find now. I think. With all of that being said, I have come across a treasure. Ah! It looks suspicious. So I found this on Facebook Marketplace. I wasn't looking to buy figures or anything. I just really enjoy looking at listings and just in case I come across something spicy. And come across spicy, I did. So I already looked at these obviously, but I haven't assembled them and taken them out. So we have Ray and Asuka, my gals. And here in one, one of the bags, we have all their props. So let's cut to some figure assembly. So let's start off with Asuka. This is my first time seeing it. Um, out of the plastic and there she is so she's actually not sticky which is which is nice this part is a little bendy and you've even got some shading in her armor in her hair you've got shading in her hair and in her clothes so there she is now let's put her on her base there we go. And let's get her swords. So this goes in the this peg where it fits. That's it. It goes this way. There we go. So from the front, that looks like this. Oh, and that's why this bends. Okay, that makes sense. Is there a peg or a... There's no peg under her hand. It's just gonna be... I just kind of put the tip in one of the grooves in the base and her hand keeps it in place. There she is. She is so cute. Okay, let's do Ray next. Let's see how she looks. You know, this is surprisingly detailed for um, an old school prize figure. So there is some marking on the back of her legs, which 
I really don't mind. But as you can see, this also has shading like on the boots, in her mechanical arm, and even in her hair. Let's get her on her base. Okay. There we go. She has a scepter. It's kind of nice when it's um, peeking back a little. And her little bag of scrolls and potions. This goes here. And she has a little spirit companion, which I feel is either a nod to the angel in Ava or Ghibli. I like having the scepter like this, but in the original photos, it should go on like this. But like, what's the point if you can't see it? It's barely seen. There, how about that? Nope, we're keeping it. I think that looks cool. Oh my gosh, what's happening? Oh my gosh, what's happening? So these figures just tick so many boxes for me. They're so charming. You know, that retro, old school quality of figures. It's just really charming. And I love it. It's adorable. It's novel. It's something different. I feel like for a prize figure and for a prize figure price, these are such a steal, especially in 2021. So I love fantasy RPG-esque costumes. And I love when they, they dress anime characters in them. I think Rei as a mage and Asuka as a warrior is just... Mm. Chef's kiss. I always, always get excited over fantasy RPG-like uh, iterations of characters. Like there's this one, Boku no Hiro, ending, closing credits. You know the one where, where all of them are like in this fantasy world. Shoto's like a prince. Bakugo is the nemesis who turns into an ally. There's a dragon and everything. Anyway, and in in Watakoi, they also have those iterations when they play the fantasy game. They have fantasy RPG-like avatars in clothes like this. So I love those. And I always say I want figures of the Boku no Hero fantasy style characters and the Watakoi fantasy style characters, but uh, they just don't make them. But I would love to have those figures. So when I saw these and you know that I'm an Ava fan, when I saw these, I was like, I'm not even gonna think. I'm just gonna get them. And I got them at a pretty steal price. I got them for 1,050 pesos on Facebook Marketplace, which is a pretty good deal, uh, even if they were loose, considering the condition that they're in. And these two are just, you know, the, the novelty of it is just, I can't resist. You know, I can't resist. Ah! Like I was saying, as a collector, it's really exciting to me when I see figures that I've never seen before or figures that I didn't even know existed. But these are rather hard to find now, which makes me feel great that I was able to snag them at such a good price also. Well, I mean, they're kind of pricey for price figures from 2000 whenever, but I've actually been I've actually been looking at these retro Ava figures for a long time, but I never jump the gun when it comes to buying them because uh, when I overbuy things, I get stressed. I, I don't like a lot of visual clutter in my space, so I told myself I would not get into these retro Ava figures because there's just so many of them and once I start, I might not be able to stop, but I started. so. I also don't have the shelf space, and uh, but you know, well, uh, that's a problem for tomorrow, me. There's just so many little gems that you can find on Facebook Marketplace or even Shopee or Carousel because there are a lot of sellers that buy loose figures from Japan Surplus. If you want to look for figures, you should just search anime figures or authentic anime figures or anime figure set or Evangelion figures because often they come in bundles like big bundles of just random characters from different animes and then you find a gem every now and then. I feel like I'm going to end up being one of those Ava collectors who just has a ton of Ava stuff. 
I'm really excited about my growing Ava collection. I have a couple of Ava stuff. <coughs> oh my god! Thanks for watching. If you enjoy this, I'm glad to have contributed to your enjoyment. Okay. <laughs> Show us all the